Hey guys, Jimmy from Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Industrial Train. Now sometimes even the simplest assets can be quite useful, so let's take a look at what we've got here. Come to the demo scene, which I always like to see, and nothing too special about it. It is just a train on a plane. That rhyming was not intentional. So it looks okay, it looks quite nice, it looks fairly decent. So you can probably see how this could be used in many different types of games. Let's say for example you've got a big open world city and there's a train line in there somewhere, then there you go, this would do quite nicely in a train yard or even if you want to get it moving then yeah, sure, why not? But that brings me on to the next bit because we have the wheels which easily can be moved. They can be um, animated as well. So it looks like you can actually render each part of the wheel, make it move, which is really good. That's what I like to see. So quality, yeah, it's not too bad. It's quite nice. Um, there are obviously much better assets, but usually they have to be paid for. And this one, at the time of recording, is free. And remember, prices do go up all the time. They come down, up, down, up, down, whatever. Remember, time recording this, this is free. It may have changed since this gets uploaded, but hopefully not. So, yeah, overall, I do quite like it. Quantity, there's not a massive amount here. We get the train, as you would expect, and obviously the materials, meshes to play around with. And um, we even get right here, if it would decide to open up, a collision. Little, uh, So you can see that's the area of collision around it, which I suppose it helps in some ways, but if, if it's not necessary to you because you're going to use this visually or something, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. So in the way of extras, there's nothing in the way of extras, to be honest. It's, it is exactly what it says on the tin. It's an industrial train. And I always like to kind of play around with things. You know, it's always a good idea to play around with materials and just see what you can come up with. Like, for example, the normal map. I, I do this quite a lot and change it let's say to grayscale apply and just see how it looks and now it looks rotten and old and blech, which is good because then you can work with that and do what you want with it uh, let's revert that back there we go so it's always a good idea to play around with uh, materials and textures and you can get all of that quite nicely you know you can do anything you want with it because it is yours at the end of the day so just change the smoothness there so Versatility, yeah, it's, it's versatile, just like most assets of this type, they are quite versatile. Um, the size of the actual um, asset is 19.8 meg, which isn't too bad. But again, if you're aiming for something high quality, then obviously whatever you buy is probably going to be a higher uh, file size than that. So I'd say just under 20 meg isn't too bad. So I'm going to press play right now. Just have a quick look at how this looks in the scene with a little bit of post-processing. You guys know I'm a sucker for post-processing. So I guess it's it's how you want it to look. There's many different ways that you can play around with this and make it look cool. So it really is down to you and how you want to visualize this in your game. But that, not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, like I said, the usefulness of it is down to if you're creating like, some kind of train yard in a game or something, this will probably fit in quite nicely. Folders, nice and neat, and that pretty much is just all we have, which is, you know, sometimes just these small assets seem like there's not a lot to it, but there is more to this than you could ever think, providing you're prepared to put that work in and make it look cool and awesome. And I always say you should never take assets for what they are. Always make them your own in whatever way possible. So, as you guys know, I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. And I'm pretty sure you've cottoned on already. I'd recommend this asset. I think it's a very nice asset, especially for its price. Free, like I say. Because this will fit in in pretty much any type of urban area. You know, obviously provided there's some kind of train line there. But even if you just got an abandoned kind of area, this would fit in really nicely, I think. So yeah, if, if you're going for that style, I would recommend this asset. Train's very nice. So guys, have you tried this asset yourself? Have you got it in your game? Let me know if you have. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, link me to it because I would love to check it out. Uh, and there's only one thing left for me to say, guys. Click on that subscribe button. Click on that bell icon as well. You can stay up to date with all of these reviews and all the tutorials I've got. Guys, thank you very much for watching.